welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. In this tutorial I'll show you how to build some siege weapons. This will include a ballista, a trebuchet and a battering ram. So yeah, let's start. So we're going to start with the ballista and therefore I want to build a foundation for the ballista. So what you want to do is to take cobblestone stairs, place them like this, three blocks uh, in a row, and then on this side you want to make it like this, so that uh, th the shape to the side is just to stabilize the whole thing, because it's going to be pretty big. So as you can see, three a row of three here, then this stabilizing part, and then another three blocks here, and three stairs back. So then fill all that out with cobblestone. Like that. And then you want to take logs, place them like this, and then you just want to continue building that until the end. The outer lines are seven blocks long and the uh, middle line is nine blocks long. Then you want to take planks, place three planks up here, leave a gap of one block in the middle and then two blocks um, to each side and then three blocks up there, like this, so that you've got a hole in the middle. Then for the bows you want to make two single diagonal blocks here, then one row uh, of two blocks and then another single block. So on this side again, two single blocks, one row of two blocks, and another single block here. Now you want to take stairs and bring in a little shape. So what you want to do is to replace those two blocks with stairs. Down here it's the same, just this time it's upside down stairs. Then you want to, want to replace these blocks with stairs. And this plank up here is going to be replaced by an upside down slab. Now you want to make the arrow, for that uh, make this one block wider and uh, put an upside down slab down there. And now continue building the arrow with the logs up until you reach this point. Then just to uh, hold the arrow, just um, stabilize it down here with a plank and two slabs to the outside. I'm just going to move this uh, this one row, one block more to the back side, like this. Yep, that's good. Now you want to take uh, wool, place one single block here, then one row of two blocks, like this, and then three single blocks, same thing on this side one single block, a row of two blocks, and then more single blocks until you reach the end. So now for the head of the arrow, you have different ways to do that. So either you can just put it up like this so that you've got two iron blocks, or you could thicken the head of the arrow so that you've got it like this, or you could even make it a little bit longer, but uh, for this design I'm just going to go with the two iron blocks like this. So another thing I want to do now is uh, to make this look a little bit more reinforced because these uh, diagonal blocks always make the thing look a lot uh, unstable because uh, the, uh, the transmissions are always so thin. So what you can do is to put up fences there or to make a line of um, another line of logs here, um, of planks I mean, but I'm just going to go with the f uh, fences. So yeah, that's our design. So the second design I want to show to you is how to build a battering ram. We're going to start with building the wheels for it and for that you want to take stone brick stairs, place two of them and then two upside down stone brick stairs below them, like this, beneath them. Then you want to leave three blocks free and make another wheel here. Oh, 
like that. So you can see three blocks in between of them. And then you want to leave five blocks free to the other side. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, five. And then here you want to make another wheel. Same thing on this side. Then again, three blocks free. And then the last wheel here. Like that. Now you want to take the darker planks and make a row here. And let it stick one block more to the outside than the wheels to each side. Then you want to make another row on top. And now we're going to build a roof just to uh, have a defense against all the arrows and stuff which, uh, which are shot at you when you want to conquer a castle. So these are two rows of slabs and this outer one will be an upside down slab row. And you want to make that so that it's sticking one block more to the outside than the planks. And of course the same thing on the other side. So this outer row is going to be an upside down row once again. And now what you want to do is to take the darker planks once again and place a row of three blocks up here. Same thing of course on this side. And then you want to continue building the slabs. So these outer two rows are going to be upside down again. And the middle row is just going to be the way we're just placing it right now. As you might notice, I'm using the upside down slabs and stairs quite a lot, so it's really a great invention. Thanks for that. It, it really changed a lot. In the beginning I was like, oh shit, I, I will have to change loads of things, and I had to. But it was worth the trouble, because it, it, it's just making things look so much better. Okay, now as you can see, you can see the da uh, the darker planks here, but we're just going to do a little bit, a little something for that later on. First of all, you want to actually build the ram. So just a row of logs in here in the middle. Then you want to take fences to hold the ram in here. Make two of them. And then just take a block of iron and put it on here. So now you're able to tear down castles and stuff. And now you want to take signs and just place a row of signs one time all around this um, this bottom row. Uh, just to make it a little bit more reinforced, if you will. Okay. And now, which is why this usage of the darker planks up here wasn't too bad, is actually that you can take other planks, uh, other um, half slabs and stuff, and put them in there. So for example, uh, I'm just going to take the simple stone, as you can see, the, st uh, the stone slabs, I'm just going to throw them in there. Uh, you could as well take uh, the, the lighter or the darker plank half blocks and throw them in there, because uh, the roof is probably, probably a lot of arrows flew into this roof, and th these are like patches to fix up the holes and stuff which is uh, which are in there so it adds kind of kind of a little bit a scene of destruction to that and you might also cover that up with like pressure plates and stuff but i'm just going to keep uh, to leave it like that so now for our last design for the trebuchet what you want to do is to make two three block high pillars 
with a distance of three to each other. Then two more rows, uh, two more pillars here with a distance of five blocks here. Then you want to take stone brick stairs and make it a little bit of a foundation here. So as you can see, these are five blocks here and three blocks here. Just like that. And then you want to take half slabs and fill out this middle part here. Like that. Then take logs. And continue building these two block pillars up here until they hit each other. And then just to stabilize the whole thing to the sides, just make another pillar here and stabilize this to this side, like that. Same thing on this side, those row of, uh, rows of two blocks. that. Then one pillar in the middle and the stabilization to the side like that. Then what you want to do is to take uh, the redwood logs and place two of them like this. And then you want to take planks and prepare this, I, I don't know what's what's it called, the, the arm of the trebuchet, I don't know. So it's one plank here, and then it's four blocks up, like that. Then another four blocks here, and two more blocks down here, and then one block to the outside. So then you want to take stairs and replace the highest and the lowest of each pillar with them, upside down or normal. And down here the same. And then for the weight on this side you want to add some cobblestone blocks. So this is going to be a 3x3 three three square of cobblestone here. Then you want to take cobblestone stairs and replace each of the corners with that. Like that. And then the last thing you want to do is to add an iron block up here. For that, just excuse me for a minute, gotta get it. There it is. And then place the trapdoors to these three sides so that these are actually holding the iron block and the iron block is actually the thing which um, which will be thrown by the trebuchet so yeah that's it so these were the three designs I chose for this tutorial if I come up with more designs for siege weapons in the future I will probably make another video about this but for the time being this will do so as always please rate comment subscribe do as you will and hopefully we'll see you next time bye bye